Hey YouTube, it's your homegirl Lena Ma and as you guys can tell from this title, I have a skincare favorite slash products I've been loving at the moment type video for you guys. Um, I just wanna say a really big hello and thank you to any new and old subscribers who have stuck with me. So big, big thank you for that. Appreciate the support and love, so thank you very, very much. Now I have broken this down into categories, so cleansers, moisturizers, etc. just so it's a little bit easier to follow. And for reference, my skin type is normal to dry. If I don't stick with a good skincare regime, then I find that I can get sort of flaky, dry patches, especially around my mouth area. But these are some of the products that I've been trying in the past few months. This video is not sponsored. Um, I've just really been liking skincare and there's some products that I feel are worth mentioning and I wanted to talk about, so let's get started. Now the first product that I reach for when removing my makeup is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Micellar Oil Infused Water. I much prefer this one um, rather than the normal one that comes with a pink lid just because I find it more effective at removing makeup. And I like that it has a little bit of oil in it because it gives my skin some moisture. So this is what I use just to remove any makeup. Then I will go ahead with a cleanser on my actual skin so that my skin gets the benefit of the ingredients of the cleanser as opposed to it just kind of mixing in with my foundation and making kind of like a paste. The first one I'm going to mention, probably no surprise if you followed my channel for a while, is the Liz L Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. Now I've repurchased this many times and used it for many years purely because my skin really likes it. I find it really moisturizing and effective at removing makeup. The reason why I always have this in my skincare is if I'm trying out any new products or something's breaking me out, this is what I would reach for or go back to. I find them really calming and gentle and my skin really likes them. Really, really nice products and that's the Hot Cloth Hot Cloth Cleanser by Lizelle. Now this next one comes a close second. Now I never thought I would say this because I'm pretty loyal um, to that one, but this is by Pi and it's the Instant Calm Camellia and Rose Hydrating Cleanser. Really like this. Quite similar um, in consistency and texture to that, so it's like a cream. Not as thick, but still pretty thick. Again, very effective at removing makeup. I really like the scent of this. I find it really calming and relaxing. So I use this at night. It's the one that I've been reaching for the most recently. Um, and I really, really like this on my skin. Impressed with some of the pie products that I've tried so far. This next cleanser is by Neod and it's their Sanskrit sup Saponin. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Looks like this. Now this is my second tube of this stuff, so I must really like it. Um, and the directions say to use once every other day in the AM or PM, but can be used more frequently if desired. So I tend to opt for this cleanser in the morning and I use it in the shower without a cloth, just kind of on my fingers and then I rinse it off with my fingers as well. Um, it says that it's not really meant to be used to take off any makeup which is why I reach for it in the morning. I find that it gets rid of any kind of excess oils that my skin might have produced, but it doesn't strip it away completely that my skin feels tight or dehydrated. So that's why I like this. And that's the Neod Sanskrit Cleanser. This next product I have is another cleanser. This is the last of them. And it's by Beauty Pie and it's the Japan Fusion one. Now, I haven't used this as much as the others, but so far I'm liking it. The reason why I wanted to include it is because it's it's not really like anything I've used before. It comes out like a cream, quite thick almost. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'll do little cutaways. But then the more you kind of mix it and rub it in, it turns into like a, a balmy oil, oily balm type thing really really nice I'd say it's quite heavy which is why I don't really reach for it every day and even though my skin is on the dry side um, too many heavy products I can get kind of clogged pores and block skin and blackheads so nice if I'm wearing heavy makeup especially mascara which I don't wear every day 
um, and really moisturizing. So if you've got extremely dry skin, then definitely check out the Beauty Pie Japan Fusion Cleanser. So I'll move on to exfoliators. I don't really exfoliate as much as I should, even though my skin is on the dry side, purely because I'm a little bit lazy, but I have been using this one. Again, it's by Pi and it's their Kukai and Jojoba Bead Skin Brightening Exfoliator. It says that it has a special effect so that you kind of, you notice a difference within sort of the first use and I definitely did. It's really, really nice. There's not much I can say about it. I tend to go more for peels, but this is one exfoliator that I am reaching for. I have tried one by Ren, which is their one minute facial cleanser. I might actually have it, let me go and get it. This is the Ren one minute facial. It's kind of like an exfoliator type thing. This product is really, really good, but the reason why I don't reach for it as much because I'm quite lazy and I like simple products, even though I've got a lot of products within my routine, um, I don't really like to faff around too much and do anything too complicated and this one you kind of have to leave it on for one minute and then ugh, I just I can't be bothered to yeah I'm I'm that lazy so that's why I've been reaching for this one a lot more and it's by Pi. I will talk about peels and stuff but I'm gonna put that in another category under treatments or something so there is more to come with exfoliating. So the next thing I wanna talk about is toners. Now, originally when I think of a toner in the past, they tend to dry your skin out. They're designed to ultimately close your pores um, and just, it, they have a very tightening effect and sometimes I didn't really like that and it's usually a step that I missed out until I tried this toner. This is the Instant Boost Skin Tonic Spritzer. Again, it's by Lizzo, I'm sorry, but they're really, really good products. The reason why I like this, one, it's in a spray kind of bottle, as opposed to putting it on a cotton pad. It does come in a normal bottle if you did want to use it that way, but I much prefer this, because again, I'm quite lazy, and I just find that very, I find it very plumping on the skin. Um, so for me, a toner now, rather than tightening, it kind of serves as a plumping kind of purpose and it just gives it a little bit more moisture before I use my moisturizer, if I'm making sense. And yeah, this one, if you've got dry skin, absolutely love it. And again, very calming, something I reach for if I'm having any breakouts. The next toner is by Skin Laundry and it's their clarifying toner and it says it removes excess oils and restores natural pH. And this, I, I like the packaging of it because it's one of those kind of, you know what you get at the nail shops? Yeah, so quite sanitary. And I reach for this when my skin is feeling a little bit congested. So again, if I feel like I'm gonna get some breakouts or any blackheads, or if I'm using a product that I feel is just particularly heavy, then I'll reach for this as my toner. And again, this is more part of my nighttime routine. It's not something I reach for um, in the morning. I don't know why, I tend to go more for spritzers in the morning to make me feel more refreshed and this in the evening. Now this next product, I think it's a toner. I'm not quite sure, but I'm gonna put it in the toner category anyway. And it's also by Beauty Pie and it's their Japan Fusion Hydra Prep Lotion. Now, I absolutely love this stuff. Since I've been using this, I feel like I've had a facelift. Now, don't get me wrong, don't think that by buying this product, you're gonna have an instant facelift and all your wrinkles and problems are gonna disappear. No, it just really helps with the appearance of fine lines, especially around my eyes. And, um, yeah, I mean, I was having a bit of a crisis I'm one year away from 30, so I'm really, really taking skincare quite seriously. And this product is just, I, I find it amazing. But the way I have been using it, how I've been applying this product, is I pop it onto the cotton pad, and instead of swiping it on my face, I apply some firm pressure and pat it onto my skin. And when I get 
to my eye area. I don't put any pressure or too much tension, but I just kind of lift it ever so slightly and really work it and press it into any fine lines around my eyes. And like I said, I love the way this makes my skin feel. And that's the Beauty Pie Hydro Prep Lotion. The next category is probably like facial mists. Again, sometimes I will use this instead of a toner. This is getting very complicated, but I'll, I'll break it all down somehow. I'll leave more information in the description. And some facial mist that I absolutely love. This one in particular, because I've actually finished it, and it's the Aesop Immediate Moisture Facial Hydrosol. Really like the smell of this, very calming. Nice um, size bottle and it's plastic, good for travel. So yeah, really liking this. Need to repurchase this actually. Another mist. Oh, this is my second bottle of this stuff. If you are a fan of that Lizelle toner for the same reason I am, because you find that it plumps the skin, you need to try this. This is the Neod Super Oxa. I cannot pronounce it. This one, it's absolutely massive. I think it can be used on the whole body, but I just find it so, so plumping on the skin. It's just, that's the only way to describe it. Plumping is the effect um, that I find it has for me. It's designed to improve water density and target oxidative stresses. Whatever that means, I don't know. I find it very hydrating and extremely, sorry to say it again, plumping. The next facial mist, now this is this is a gorgeous product and a gorgeous brand and it's by Herbivore and this is their Rose Hibiscus Coconut Water. This is so refreshing to use and I find it again very calming and I like the scent of this. It's quite light, it's coconut water um, and Rose Hibiscus and there's not much else I can say about it other than it's hydra- it's, it's exactly what it says it is, it's a hydrating face mist. Probably not as hydrating as the Lizelle or the um, Neod one, but still a really nice product. And again, I find it more refreshing. And as I mentioned before, face mist is something I reach for as part of my morning skincare routine, just because I find them really refreshing and just wake me up. But then certain face mists like this Aesop one and the Rose Hibiscus, have a really nice calming scent to them so I like to use them at night just before I go to bed and it's very soothing and relaxing and nice. So the next category I'll move on to is eye creams slash serums. Now there's only really one product worth mentioning for me in this category. I've tried plenty of eye creams in the past and I don't really find anything works. Sometimes I find that they're quite heavy and I get I think they're called milliers. They're just small bumps under the eyes. Um, and just, I have a bit of a slight bumpy texture until I started using this product and it's the Hylamide Sub-Q Eyes Advanced Serum. This again is my second bottle. I love this stuff so much. I use it day and night religiously. And I promise you, if you are someone that has skin, like your texture under your eyes is a little bit bumpy, Give this a go and within a week or so, I promise you will see some kind of a difference. This has really changed just the texture of my skin and I love it so much. And a little goes a long way. The reason I have purchased a second bottle is the other one got a bit old and that's, that's the only reason, but there was plenty of products still left in there. You just need the tiniest amount. And yeah, if I don't have this on under my moisturizer I feel yeah I feel very very much incomplete but if you are on a budget and because I think that is a little bit pricey then this other one by The Ordinary and they are owned by the same company is the Caffeine Solution 5% now I initially tried this out at first and before that one and I loved it but then this came along and just yeah but this is great if you're on a budget. This is the one my mum uses in particular and she really, really likes it. She has a lot of puffiness here in particular, which is why I thought the caffeine one would be good for her. And it's really, really helped to reduce that and calm it down. So I'm finally gonna move on to moisturizers. I'm really sorry that this is such a long video, but 
some of these products, honestly, I just, I, I couldn't keep a secret. So a few moisturizers that I've been loving. Again, this is a repurchase and it's my second one. It's the Aesop Sage and Zinc Facial Hydrating Cream. The reason why I like this is because it has an SPF for 15. None of the other moisturizers I'm going to um, include here have that. So that's why I like it. I tend to use this in the summer. It's extremely moisturizing. My mum has currently nicked this from me, so um, yeah. Now this is a serum and a moisturizer. It's two products, but I'm featuring them together because, well, I haven't used them separately, so I just feel like they kind of, I just feel like they work really well together. You don't need to buy both, but I just, I like using them together. And it's the Nux or Nux, Nux Creme Fresh, Creme Fresh de Beaux. I'm sorry to any French people, I'm really sorry. It's the Creme Fresh range, looks like this. Love this stuff. When I first tried this, oh my God. First off, the scent. I feel like I'm in a spa when I use this. So for me, it was just a joy to, to use this. I really liked waking up and knowing that I was gonna put moisturizer on when I was gonna use this because it just smells heavenly. If you're not a fan of fragrances or heavy scents, this isn't gonna be the product for you. Saying that, I know scents are not necessarily important um, in skincare, and sometimes they can irritate the skin. However, I found no issues with this, and the reason why I like the scent in particular, because again, I find it very calming and soothing. I like it for morning and night, especially at night, because it's just so relaxing. And this formula in particular is for normal skin. They do have one for, I think, dehydrated skin or dry skin, and they may have one for oily skin, I'm not sure, but I will leave links in the description. And this is their serum. Oh, I really, I will be repurchasing this. I've finished the moisturizer already. The next moisturizer is by Embr Embrilis, I can't say it. It's their Intense Smooth Radiant Complexion. Comes in a little glass jar like this. It's just kind of like a, a thick cream. When I initially used this and first started trying it out, I kind of thought it was a bit basic. I thought it was just kind of a standard moisturizer. However, over time, having tried it out, I find it really, really nice. It's extremely moisturizing. It's definitely made a difference in my skin, made it very supple, and again, helped with the texture. And it has a really light, really, really light kind of rose scent to it. It just smells like a normal moisturizer, but very, very light. I can't, it's, it's a really nice cream. Um, I did give this to my mom to try, and she didn't really get on with it. She's got extremely dehydrated skin. Um, and it didn't really do much for her. So if you are on the more dry side or slightly dehydrated, I probably wouldn't recommend this product, but that's just her experience. Let me know if you've had anything different. Um, the next one, again, this is by Pi as well, and it's part of the Instant Calm range, and this is their Chamomile and Rosehip Calming Day Cream. Really like this. Again, the scent really soothing. It almost smells a little bit like tea to me. Very light moisturizer. I wouldn't say it's particularly greasy either. My It kind of sinks into my skin really nicely. And I find that I don't necessarily need a primer as part of my makeup routine when I use this because it is quite light and I don't find it particularly heavy. So my makeup doesn't tend to move around when I have this on. Now this next category is treatments, like peels, spot treatments, that kind of thing. And there's a few products that I want to mention. The first is a spot treatment, and this is by Aesop, and it's called Control. Like this enough to go ahead and have a backup, um, just in case. And again, this is just a spot treatment. Anytime I feel like a spot is on the horizon, you know, those under the surface ones, or if you have one that's just there, saying hello, um, then it's still really good to go ahead and pop this on. Now, it's not going to magically make it disappear, but I really find that it helps with the process of it. And also, it doesn't give my spots that that white, you know, that 
that little white head that you want to pop. It just kind of calms it right down without it having to get to that angry stage. It calms down angry spots, liking this by Aesop. I have found though since all of these skincare products that I've been talking about that I've not had to reach for this as much because I'm not getting as many breakouts, but nice to have it just in case. Oh, and by the way, if that's a little bit pricey for you, this has got niacinamide in it and so and a few other salicylic acid and a few other bits, but niacinamide seems to be the main ingredient. This is by The Ordinary and it's their niacinamide 10%. So again, um, if you are on a budget, definitely check this out. I reach for this, again, if I have any kind of scarring left from spots, I find that it helps uh, with fading the appearance of them. And yeah, nice product. Really like The Ordinary and Neod and just Decium in general. So a few treatments. Now these are exfoliating, peeling slash treatments. Now the first one here I have is also by The Ordinary. This is their AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. Now, I don't know if I love this product yet, but I wanted to talk about it because I just wanted to mention some things that I've tried and might not necessarily like. And the reason why I don't like this, first off, it looks pretty scary. It looks like blood and I'll be honest, it's really messy as well to use. It's a little bit thick and I find it quite strong. After I've used this, my skin is always a little bit red, but I have read some solutions online. Someone suggested maybe using it on a cotton round so that your skin doesn't soak up as much product and just putting on a really, really thin layer. So I might give that a go because I've read some rave, rave reviews about it. So let me know in the comments what you make of this if you've tried it. And now I'll move on to face masks. I don't actually have a lot to talk about because, well, I haven't really tried that many. I have a few to try out, but these ones in particular um, are the ones that I've been liking. And this is again by Nooks. And again, it's part of the same creme fraiche range. This is just a really, really hydrating mask. Um, and again, the smell is divine. So I find it extremely relaxing and calming. Um, but yeah, just extremely hydrating. It says it's anti-pollution. So I particularly like using these products, especially if I'm going into central London or using the tube, which I always use public transport if I'm going around, I don't have a car. So um, if I'm going around into um, busy areas in particular, because London is pretty grubby, it's disgusting. So yeah, liking this anti-pollution range by Nooks. And the other mask, again, this is very, very hydrating. And this is one that my mother, my beloved mother loves. Um, and again, she, like I said, she has very dehydrated, sensitive skin. And it's by Antipodes, Antip Antipode, um, I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm saying it wrong. It's their Aura um, Manuka Honey Mask. Really nice, soothing, quite light, nothing too heavy just moisturizing and hydrating, which is seems to be the theme in pretty much most of my skincare here. And then I'm gonna move on to some face oils because, well, I just, I love a good face oil. And the first one, this, I need to give a special mention. I mentioned this on my Instagram stories and it's just, I don't want it to run out because I think it is a bit pricey and, but it's just so divine and amazing. It's by Pi, it's their Age Confidence Facial Oil, and this is the Echium, Echium, and Amaranth. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it, but ho, 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 I love it. First off, I really like the packaging, and this kind of like pipette type thing, but you kind of have a button. It's really satisfying to press. Not only that, it smells divine. Again, very relaxing. So use it as part of a nighttime routine. Um, and it says it targets signs of aging and for very dry skin. So again, really, really nice for dehydrated or mature skin. My mum absolutely loves this. If you do have dehydrated skin though, and oils aren't working, I think the solution might be to just 
stay hydrated and drink plenty of water and maybe take some um, omega-3 supplements that might work as well but this I wake up with the most glowiest skin ever and it's a really cushiony gel type oil I can't quite explain it it's not too thick though um, my skin absolutely loves it and like I said the glow that I have in the morning is so nice and then when I cleanse with the Sanskrit um, and it just leaves like a little bit of the dew still on my skin and my makeup just goes on lovely I really like this I'm loving loving all of the pie stuff that I've tried especially this oil now the next oil is actually um, targeted more for oily skin now even though my skin is dry as I keep saying this one I reach for when it does feel a bit congested but it still needs moisture so anytime I feel like I'm you know like I might get a few blackheads or I feel like I'm going to break out I opt for this and it's the herbivore lapis facial oil really like the packaging to start with like all of their products and I'm keen to try their other face oils that they have that are more for dry skin um, but again like this find it moisturizing enough even for my dry skin um, but not too heavy that it kind of makes it feel blocked or anything but definitely not as hydrating as the pie one but still really nice to reach for like I said when I need moisture, but feel a bit congested. The final category, I promise, I'm so sorry, this is so long, is lip balms. Hmm. Now, normally I would just go for like a Carmex or Blistex, they work absolutely fine, uh, but I have been, I'm a bit of a lip balm addict. I tend to top up my lip balm quite a few times in the day, more often than lipstick. And the one that I really, really like is this one by Bobbi Brown. And it has an SPF of 15, which is why I like it. And it comes in a little tin like this. And you only need the smallest amount. So it's gonna last you a really, really long time. A makeup artist actually used this on me for the Adidas uh, Meet the Creator series that I shot. And my lips stayed moisturized all day, even when I was eating. And my lipstick stayed really, really well um, when this was on underneath. Liking This by Bobbi Brown. And then the other ones which I have sort of kind of a bit more on the go uh, are these. This is by Ashley & Co. I think this is an Australian brand and it's their Lip Punch Intensive Lip Balm. It's their Beeswax and Arnica Argan Oil. Like the simple packaging and again, very moisturizing and hydrating. Kind of like a gel cushion type formula. And then we have this one, which is a little bit cheaper, I think. And it's the Kind Natured with Moisturizing Coconut Oil. This I picked up in Boots, and they also have different ones. I think they've got a Honey Manuka one, or just a Honey one. And they're free from sulfates and parabens. Really quite impressed with this, and I probably would pick this up again over Carmex, I think. Oh, and one lip product that really, really, really need to mention because it's amazing. And it's by Neod and it's their Lip Bio Lipid Concentrate. I've spoken about this before and this stuff is insane. So it looks like a little oil. It's quite cushiony, I can't quite describe it. And you just kind of pop it on your lips. You need the tiniest amount and I, I mean that. And after a few minutes, you can really, really feel it tingling. And it's not just like those normal kind of tingly lip glosses. Like this really, really helps in plumping up the lips. It's not permanent, can I just add? So um, it does go down after a few hours. And all that it really does is just to help to fill in kind of any fine lines around your mouth. So if you are, getting a little bit older, if you're a smoker or something, definitely check this out. It's the Neod Lip Biolipid Concentrate. Such an amazing product and one that you can just instantly see it working. Love this stuff. And that is it. I think that's it. I'm sure there's something I've missed, but we'll leave it at that. That's my skincare favorites. I'm sorry it was so long. I hope it was helpful for some of you out there. And if you've tried any of these, or if there's anything you recommend that you liked, didn't like, please let me know in the comments so we can help each other out and build a community. Yeah. 
Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and stay tuned for more. Peace.